Welcome back to second quarter getting started. And so far, a somewhat one-sided game. And the Bobcats have it. 19-point game. We've got Jared Dudley. Tyrus Thomas up there with Corey Brewer. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Bobcats. Here is Rose. Here's the Beast. From 11 feet away, Ralph scoops it up. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Takes it up, and he gets the bucket. Foul is called. One free throw for him. Oh boy, that's a superb job of maintaining concentration after contact. Here's the Beast. He's got 26. From down low, Dudley corrals the miss inside. Goes up, and they call goaltending. They'll give him a bucket. When he gets it going like this, you've got a double team. That's your only hope. Here's Rose. Back to Dan. And it's going to be a three-second call. And here's what the Chicago Bulls schedule is looking like. They'll be at home for the next game against the Bobcats. That game is the first and last of their home schedule. And here is Dudley, averaging six points per contest. Backing him down, Thomas. And here is Brewer. Let's go with a three. Rebound by Rhodes. You gotta expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Boy, these guys have a terrific feel for each other. You have to, you have to, in order to make plays like that. Don't you think you can tell that they love being on the court together? Boy, they're having a good time. Here's Brewer, connects on the baseline jumper. Nine points in the game so far. Here's the beast, and the one-handed jam to finish. Boy, he's so graceful, so smooth when he takes it strong to the rim like that. You know, Clark, you can pretty much always depend on him for those kinds of plays. Yeah, graceful and powerful. Sure. Backing him down, Thomas. It's blocked. Let's check out the NBA blocks lead. And you look at Noah, one of the top intimidators in the league, a fierce shot block. Well, anybody on this list, Kevin, is going to have the ability to get stops in a spectacular fashion, in a game-changing, dramatic fashion, in a crowd-pleasing way. That's what shot blockers do. Here is Brewer. He's got nine. They're not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. The shot is off. How the Bobcats take it the other way. Outside runner. And that one's good. Here's Rose. Covered by Brewer. Outside Dang. Pass to Rose. It's dumped off. Here's the Beast. Five to shoot. Behind the arc. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Now he's starting to pick up from what he accomplished in the first quarter, where he made three of his three-point attempts. Okay. Charlotte calls timeout, and the Bobcats making a change here. Mays checked in, Carlos Boozer's checked in for the Bulls. Here is Brewer, right now averaging 11 points a game. Great anticipation. Way too many turnovers from him in this one, Kevin. Rose. Nice finish on the alley -oop. Rose has got his second bucket of the night. And so here is Charlotte. They trail by 16. Day against Dudley.
Here's Welch. He's off from three. You know, you don't want to leave anybody out there that wide open. The Beast. No good from three-point land. Here's the Bobcats with the ball. It's a 16-point game. Again, the miss by the Bobcats. About eight and a half minutes left in the second. Rose. Here's the Beast. Got a hand on it. Here's Dang. And yep, that falls, and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. Watching the team shoot this well is fun for some fans watching at home, but it's no picnic for the guy who's coaching the defense. I mean, he's really upset with how his team is not giving the effort at that end of the floor. But simply put, that's just bad defense. Well, talk about life on the road for an NBA player. The highs, and certainly there are a lot of lows. Yeah, there are certainly some highs. I mean, just being in the NBA, having a chance to travel around and do something you love doing and that you're good at. The lows, I mean, you miss your family, your friends. If you're a married guy, you have family, that's tough when you're away from home. And then there are distractions out there, a lot of them. Smooth sailing for Chicago. Here's the beast. And no good. But close in that one, so he'll shoot two. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Bobcats. They get to take on the Bulls at Chicago after this one. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. loose and the Bobcats have it trailing by 19 uncovered Brewers shot is off here's Chicago big stretch here going 10-2 gets the bucket he's got 36 he's just so gifted offensively he's a tough guy to match up with Covered by Rhodes. Here's Welch. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Rose, just over seven minutes left in the half. Here's the Beast, and he jams it in beautifully. He's shooting 62% from downtown. Boy, it's a thing of beauty to watch him just rise up and put it down. Well, doesn't it look like he's always having fun out there? Yeah, he's having a party. I mean, they might need to stock a spare backboard when this guy comes to town. A difficult situation for Sharp. 